What's up guys, welcome back. So today I'm just gonna show you guys a quick uh, video of how to bead roll your coolant lines if you bought aftermarket pipes so that you can, I don't know, do whatever you wanna do to your coolant system. And yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys a cheap, easy, way to do it if you don't have a bead roller. I'm not gonna go into too much details on how to make it, but I'll show you how it looks and uh, just show you kind of how to do it. I have to do this because I'm running my radiator up front in the front and then I'm running the coolant lines on the bottom of the car through the tunnel into the back where they'll supply coolant to the motor. And uh, yeah, so here's my custom setup and how to bead roll your aluminum pipes. All right, so this is how I'm doing my uh, coolant line. I purchased some uh, inch and a quarter aluminum pipes off of Amazon. They look, they're pretty good quality. Uh, they're really straight when they come. I had to bend these and there's a little kink in there, but I think it'll be all right. Um, the ends don't come rolled how they have it on like, you know, your engine and your uh, radiator so that when you clamp it down, it keeps it in place so that you know, it doesn't pop off. So basically I had to shorten it to my length that I need and I had to put a little bend in it. Um, it's a little kink in here, but I don't think that's gonna do much or anything to stop any air or coolant travel, but um, whatever. Uh, what I have to do is roll the ends so that I can have a bead roll, and I don't have a bead roller, so I did it myself and they came out pretty good they should work pretty well and i'm going to show you guys how i did it i've already done the other three ends um this is the last one i need to do so what i did was i took a vice grip i took a washer that i had laying around I had to cut it to size because it wasn't it didn't fit inside there so it cut it shorter and then um i all i did was weld it to there and also cut a notch there so that when you clamp it down ta -da, it makes a bead and you basically just have to go slow and go around the whole thing and you'll have a good beat. So that's gonna probably work. Pretty sure it's gonna work. But cross a few days. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this last one.
bam, there you have it. It's not pretty, but it's got a nice bead all around it. And should be able to hold the coolant lines. Guess what time it is? Bam, header time. These are the headers I got. And uh, uh, they are 1320 Ram horn style headers for K20 swap. And uh, I wanted something that had a little bit more uh, length of piping. So I went with these and it fits in the back pretty good. Actually, I never tested it yet. So I'm hoping it fits. It looks like it should. I have quite a bit of room back there for some headers or a turbo i don't know maybe but um they look pretty good so i'm gonna put these on and you know what that means when it comes to the headers it's almost time to start the car just kidding hopefully but um i gonna put the headers on it's getting kind of late already uh just gonna put the headers on and see what i could do after that uh, fuel system set up, everything's plumbed, uh, coolant's plumbed, everything's hooked up, everything's molt belt, everything's bolted in, uh, clamped, everything's good. Crossing fingers, there's no leaks. Crossing fingers, the car starts. Uh, but yeah, just gonna put these headers on and double check everything before I get to the ECU part, you know. Kind of excited, guys. Putting these headers on. They look good. I'm not gonna lie. guys it is in I didn't tighten it up yet because it's hitting right there Let's see if you can focus right there. but yeah so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now uh, it's getting late 